Crafter. Today I'm going to show you how I take these dollar store leaves and turn them into these really cute fall leaf roses. As far as materials go, you will need some fake leaves from the dollar store. I got these a few years back. They were in packs of 50 for only a dollar. Dollar Tree should have these or at least something very similar this year as well. You will need glue to hold your rows together. I'm using Aline's Tacky Glue because I think this will give the best hold and the strongest hold. You could also use super glue or hot glue. The disadvantage of super glue is it's hard to hold the leaf together while your rose is drying. And the issue with hot glue is it sometimes seeps through the leaves and so you risk burning yourself while you're trying to hold your rose together. So that's why I like using the Tacky Glue the best because it gives me enough time to adjust how everything is situated. And if it gets in my hands, it's not a big deal. To make the drying process a little better. We're also going to want some clothespins. Just got these basic wooden ones here. And lastly, you may optionally want a bamboo skewer. The bamboo skewer isn't necessary. I like making them on there because it just creates a nice little frame and then you can stand them up in a vase. But you don't have to use the bamboo skewers if you just want individual roses. So let's get into the process of making some fake leaf fall roses. The first step is to make the center of our rose. I like to choose five leaves for this. And it could be any color pattern in any size you want. And you can see on this one here that's drying that the center we want it to be folded up a little bit instead of the ends of the leaves looking like petals. So we need to prep these leaves by folding them in half. And I like to fold them this way. I think they're easier to fold, but you could also fold them this way. I just think this way is easier. And I'm just gonna put a little dot of glue here and maybe there. Fold my leaf in half and then secure it with the clothespin for while it dries. And I'm going to do that with five leaves. And you only need a dot of glue because we want them to still have some movement to them and this just needs to be enough to just hold it kind of folded over. It doesn't need to be a super strong hold. I'm just gonna clothespin that there. So now I have five leaves folded in half and I'm going to set these off to the side to dry. This is the part where we have to be a little bit patient. Also pro crafting tip, if you get any glue on you, just rub that section back and forth and it will cause the glue You just roll up like that and then you can just toss those little pieces into the trash can. Super easy way to clean off tacky glue. All right, here are these first five that we set off to the side. They've been drying for a little bit. We can take our clothespins off. And what we're going to do now is we're going to roll them up and start kind of creating this little spiraled cone type of shape. So something about like that. And we'll want to put some tacky glue in here, so I'm just going to put a little bit at the base. Also, if you want to use a bamboo skewer, this would be the point at which you would attach it to a bamboo skewer. This one I'm not going to do, attached to a bamboo skewer though. If you want, you can glue down the top little pieces or you can just let your next leaf hold it down. So I'm just going to fold this around, put a little bit of glue here and here on my leaf. So twist this around. We'll go the opposite direction. We'll start it here. Wrap it around my yellow leaf. Just keep twisting. And if they pop out, that's okay. You can always use a little bit of tacky glue to fold it into place. We're just spiraling these together to create the center of our rows. If you want, you can also do some turned upwards where you'll have these bigger petals pointing up. So that's what I'm gonna do for this one. A little bit of glue along that bottom edge there. Wrap it around. And we'll do this one pointing up as well. So you'll end up with something that looks a little bit like this and I'm gonna take a clothespin, clothespin this together and we'll let this sit and attach. And you only need to let these sit for about 10 minutes. They won't be fully bonded together, but they'll be bonded together enough where they won't be sliding and popping apart. So now that our centerpiece is done, it's time to start adding more leaves. Here's what I'm gonna put a little bit of glue at the base and wrap it around my centerpiece. Hold it pinched there, grab another leaf, let a little bit of glue at the base, overlap it with the one I just added, and wrap it around. And if you want, you can put glue on several leaves all at once. Just keep wrapping them and pinching it around the base. And you probably will get glue on your fingers, that's okay, just roll with it, it's pretty easy to clean off. 
once I have loaded it up a good bit, I will close pin this, let this sit and dry for a little bit, and then we'll add another few layers to finish making our fall leaf rose. All right, this has mostly dried, so we're just gonna keep repeating this process. We'll go five leaves at a time. Now put glue at the base of all my leaves, and then wrap it around our flower. Pinch this all together, go to the bottom, and close pin it to let it dry. Time to add another five leaves. Another thing is if the base of your rose starts to get really flat, you can always fold that in half and start making it flat in the opposite direction to counteract that. I kind of already did that earlier, so I'm not going to do that right now. But just if you find that you're ending up with a really wide and flat rose, that's a way to correct it. I'll let this dry and then I'll repeat the process with these last five leaves and then our leaf rose will be done. And now that our flowers are dry, we can take the clothespins off, and we have these super cute decorations that we can use for other projects. And of course, if you attach them to a bamboo skewer, you can stand them up and make a whole vase of these. I've got a project next week that I'm going to be using one of these for. Now, I used about 25 leaves for each flower, so for a dollar, that means you can make two. So for five bucks, you can make 10 of these. Not too bad, they're really simple to throw together. You just have to be patient and let them dry. But they're so pretty and festive, and you can make a nice fall bouquet. But thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. See you next week, and happy crafting.